Today, I'm interviewing one of our African American military men who served in Panama, Desert Storm, and Bosnia. And your name is Greg Fight. And your rank is E7. Um, how long did you serve? Uh, actually, a total of 25 years, but 22 and a half okay. I served active duty. And what rank? What um, branch of the military are you with? United States Army. Okay. Mr. Fike, mm -hmm. can you tell me what it was like to be to serve as an African American in these wars today? Uh, that's kind of a, a difficult question. What I mean is that uh, although the military is very diverse, we still have a uh, disparity amongst the ranks. Usually you will find that there are more uh, lower enlisted that are of African American descent. We really don't have that many officers. To answer your question directly, I think that um, uh, for me, it was a learning experience more than anything else. I really didn't try and get into the derogatory side of the military because believe it or not, there, there are derogatory sides, just like there are in any other aspect of the world. Um, but for me, I tried to make the most of the opportunity. And so, as um, military men, were you a um, officer? No. Um, lower enlisted, actually NCO is what, what the actual title NCO. is. And so, when you, when you were all, uh, overseas, mm -hmm. how did the um, public receive you as an American serviceman? Well, it, you know, times are, are, are different. It's not like when, when our guys served in Vietnam. Um, now, it's, it's, it, we're, the, the public is more receptive. You know, when we came back from each deployment, we had, uh, uh, we were welcomed, you know, with open arms, you know, by family, friends, and, and even the media for the most part. Um, again, it, it's a little different than, than in the 70s when our troops came back from Vietnam and, and you had people uh, spitting on them and doing different things like that. As a serviceman, how would you address what Memorial Day or Decoration Day would mean to you? Well, you know, it's, it's a time to reflect. You know, it's a time to, to reflect on all the liberties that we have as Americans and to think back on all the people that have fought to give us the, the uh, opportunities that we have. Uh, one of the main uh, focuses should be on the people that have lost their lives in that fight to give us the liberties that we, we uh, enjoy here in this country. Well, for this Memorial Day, the reason this is important to me, I understood that my great-grandfather, Corporal William Edward Carter, 10th Cavalry Buffalo Soldier, um, represented. And there were uh, things that was hard for him also. I, he was one of the leaders of the way. Um, and I'm understanding these still today, there are some of these things that are still in place. But um, as this is Memorial Day or Decoration Day, if you had something to leave with us today as an African-American serviceman, what would that be? It would be simply in taking pride in who you are, uh, first and foremost. Before you can have pride in anything that you do, you have to have that self-pride. So I think that would be uh, what I believe you would. You know, take pride in who you are as an individual, regardless of what anyone thinks or feels about you. And if you had to do it all again? What would you do? <laughs> you know, since I'm on camera, I'm going to say that I would do it all over again. But your personal feeling, are you proud to be an American? Well, I, I, I am. I'm, I'm proud to, to be an American. I'm proud of what my forefathers have contributed to this country. I think that um, um, as an American, we need to, to address some of the issues that we have here in this country. You know, because the truth is, is that every race nationality has developed this country into what it is, not just one. And I think that people have a tendency to forget that or overlook that. And once again, you are? Greg Fight. And um, you served with? United States Army. And I want to thank you today for this interview. I want to thank all of Amer U.S. American servicemen and women of all branches of the service. And I ask that you come again and again. And I ask that this service day that you go out and plant a flag, a respect, look out for one of the, someone from the service. And remember, we are American. Thank you.